Jesus criminy frickin' Christmas. I had the volume up all the way and it scared the hell out of me. Frick. Ah. I legitimately jumped. I, you guys can hear what I'm hearing. You guys can't, but it's like whispers and it's like loud music and it's really good. I'm a It sounds like squishy squish. So I'm going to press start. Jesus Christ, that scared the hell out of me. Here we go. Zoe calls me the worst sister in the world, but I personally don't think that's true. I'm not saying that because I'm biased or anything. So. With the worst sister in the world, give her little sister all of her old stuff. So it's got access to a mile wide closet. It's not my fault she actually is too good for my handy downs. The worst sister in the world would rather see her sister trip than help her tie her shoelaces for her. She'd never point out when her sister has greens in her teeth when she had food on her face. I'm not babying. It's it's helping. And yet all I get in response is wine after wine. That's that's not familiar. And the worst sister in the world was most certainly wouldn't take her little sister to a haunted house in the middle of the late night real housewives marathon. She would have stayed right where she was on the couch. You see, I would enjoy going to a haunted house. Something tells me something bad happens is, since the game is called Save. I can't move it down. Saving Zoe. You know the weird the weird thing is the reason why this game stuck out to me is because I actually have a cousin named Zoe. So this would be very interesting. To see if there's anything similar. But nope, since she wants to get some appreciation for once in her life, this so-called worst sister in the world is up in the middle of the night, middle of the episode, mind you, and drove her sister to the haunted house. It's a special pom-pom house, but some touring haunted house company needs a temporary take over a bed and place in Halloween, put on a good one-night scare, and then move on. So we didn't shut up about the whole ride over. I hope I wanted to put a tape over her big mouth, but I'm not the worst sister. So I totally didn't. I stayed cool. Good job. What happened? Oh no! Go back! Go back! Uh, when I, when we got to the door, the ticket booth guy said there weren't there weren't any at the door tickets left. I was ready to go back home, like the warm house do reality show, when he took me in the Zoe's puppy face and less. But anyway, cool. He told us to hurry in after the group he just left, and no one would notice a the thing. They'll probably be in the reading room by now. So that's how I got stuck in here. Stuck here in a haunted house with my baby sister, trying to prove her that I'm the <laughs> good sister. <laughs> I like this game so far. Barely once I'm inside, she's already scared. Kids are dumb. I know. Why do they go do things that they know they're going to be scared of? Why not? I'm playing a game that scared me the first second I opened up the freaking application. Zoe, it still doesn't mean you're the worst sister. Okay, so pink hair lady Zoe. She definitely acts like Zoe. Right. Kelly, you're lucky I don't leave you here. I drove you, remember? That's because mom made you do it. Oh, no, that's not why. I'm giving, I'm caring, I'm making a Friday night sacrifice. Thank you. This is very interesting. Because mom is going to take away your phone. Ha, phone joke. Whatever, you're always getting hung up on the details that make me look bad. Are any of those are there any details to make that don't make you look bad? You see, this girl is a big annoying crap butt. Okay, Kelly, stay cool. Don't let her get to you. Shrugging, I dram I jam my hands to my pockets to keep on walking. Good job. The hallway of the dipolated house. Might look spooky on its own, but without a tour guide around it, check it scares. It's just kind of lame. Of course, it always seems frightening either way, though. Yeah, it is raining, and that eyeball would give me the creeps. She may try to act tough around me, but I can tell she's taking it. What do they call it? Putting on ears or something? Hey, Jordan? It's like she's. I heard like a shaking leg leaf trying to strap down the empty hallway, which is an action movie. 
Reading room. Hey, I found the door we gotta go through. Ready? Squirt. What the? There are whispers in my ears. Oh, oh, she called her squirt. Don't call me that. It looks like. She looks like a squirt and acts like a squirt when she's a squirt. And she looks like the worst and acts like the worst because she's the worst. Channel. This is. Sisterly love. I pull open the door and the sick person step inside. She stumbles in the darkness, I mean, I'm not going to be all alone. Up ahead, I see a small circle, circles of light dancing. Tiny. I heard a growly growl. Tiny flashlights. That must be the group. So I start. Oh! This is interesting. I was not expecting movement. I was not to. So there's a moving. She's frozen. I find her hand. It's hard to see her. Someone's whispering something in the corner. Maybe it's a poem or prayer or something. I figure. A figure sways as near as the, I'm guessing it's walking our path. Yeah, I know. I hear the whispers of demons and the damned. Come on, we need to move. We're going to catch up to them. There's nothing to be afraid of, okay? I've got you. Her finger sends up around mine. Oh, okay. Everything is great for a bit. Going exactly the way it's supposed to. I'm heading towards the flashlight. She's seeing, she's seeing the flashlights. I'm holding her hand. She's holding mine. But then something goes bump in the night. Ha ha! Joke. And she lets go of me and runs off screaming somewhere. I try chasing her, but in no case in their ability to run off, I, I don't even reach. I didn't think that the, the universe. I didn't think it helped that the universe was against me, and I tripped over something to remember to catch her. Once I recover, I don't see the flashlight anymore. Did the flashlight scare her away with its menacing light? Zoe, get back here! I run towards where I thought they were. I just seen the word blur so hard I feel like I'm almost flying. Why does she ha why did she have to run off like that? Why couldn't she have given me some warning before bolting? I agree, pe people. Zoe I don't see the bookshelf until I've already collided with it. <laughs> the impact that's around my feet and onto my back. Oh no. Dot Dot I'm getting chills, this is bad. Bruh! Next thing you know, I'm s Pardon! Next thing you know, I was starting up, staring up at the ceiling and, and still on the floor from my previous collision. Dude, your eyes! Just put my face over yours. You know what? This guy's totally me. He's got the blonde hair in my hairstyle currently. He's got my current hairstyle. Cause so so for the, the only person in the room with me is a confused looking weird guy who seems to be looking around my age. Give it a. He ever take a year and has a walkie-talkie with him. Oh, it must be a manager. I crawl back onto my feet. You, do you work here? Yes, are you alright, miss? I found you passed out. How long have I been out? I'm not sure. I was making my the night rounds and I found you here. Are you with anyone? Yeah, my little sister. I grow and clutch in the back of my head and I took a harder I took a harder fall than I thought. Description? Shoes? Kinda like me, but smaller. Pink hair. Um, maybe wearing Mary Jane's. He turns away to speak to his walkie talkie. We've got a chode we have a chode Siriano wearing Mary Jane's color black <laughs> and she's wearing a pink jacket just thing. Black Mary Jane's may not be in pink drag may or may not be in pink jacket dress. Do you copy? There's a click and a fuzzy response that I can't make out. He pointlessly nods a bunch of times. It's not like the person that the other can see him. So that's weird. I would nod. I nod to everything. Okay, okay, I love that. Stop whispering in my ear! I, it's not allowed. People do a lot of weird things when they're nervous, I guess. Agreed. Exit F. Have you seen a code Chirano matching description? Another response. This one's even fuzzier. He holds their receiver the rest of and looks over at me. Ma'am, we're going to lock up the facility. There hasn't been any sighting of her at the exit. They're going to review the security tapes and walk around the room in case someone overlooked her. How did you get here? I've got a cami green with a pink paintball stain on the side. He radios in the information about my car, raising his eyebrows as he mentions a pink stain. Long story. Okay, we'll have we'll have someone check out 
check the car in case your sister's there. My name is Blake, by the way. Okay, hi, Blake. We have a great staff here, so I'm sure we'll be able to find Chirion Chiro. I mean, your sister. Why did you give a coin to Chirion Chiro? Just call him Zoe. I'm Kelly. What's up with the, that code and stuff? Thank you. I was wondering the same thing. We can't just say the lost her on the radio because we're overheard by, you know, someone that grabbed her. That is true. That's very true. We mention her shoes because a kidnapper can easily put another coat on a child. What they can't do is easily change their shoes. That is smart. Not saying that she's been kidnapped or anything, just a safety precaution. Thanks. You make me feel so much better. Those I the eyes that change. Not. I'm going to keep looking for her. There's no use hanging around in this room. I can't let you search in our company policies concerning safety hazards and all that. I'll go with you. It's all it's also safest that way. I wouldn't want you accidentally triggering something you shouldn't. Agreed. You're in a haunted house with triggers, and he's the manager or something. What? Like a death trap? Haunted houses are death traps for people with weak hearts, you know. And for the little girls that are afraid of books falling on the ground. I would have laughed if I wasn't so worried about Zoe. Blake picks up a book off the floor, and I'm betting that it's the one that scared Zoe off. To my surprise, it actually has pages. You guys weren't just dropping books filled with. You guys weren't just dropping boxes filled with rocks. What? The book, the heavy smack I thought it was a silly pop, prop. Uh, no, we put a lot of e effort into our haunted houses. Our evening, our events might be pop up and rather linear, since they're tour guided. But we make sure we put a ton of work into it. People might only get to see 10% of, of that effort. That's the right one to be full. 10% that feels like it's 100%. Like the wow, they thought of everything, even book page pages. I'm something like that. My boss tells it much better than I do. See, you can read the book if you want. It's real. Some of it's authentic test. What, did you copy and paste? He's beaming with pride. Wow, he must really like working here. Oh, oh, this is a choice-based game. I didn't know that. I just got a book. Why not? I take the book and bring the pages close to my eyes. We slice the souls from their skin. We pull their eyes from hollowed heads. That is dark. Whoa, this is pretty gruesome stuff. Those who adorn special marks upon their flesh are wearing wards. Protections will guard them against the cruel fate. The mark is set of three symbols. There's some more content books previously as creepy as I see in the blind text. Alright, so I'm going to save up. Oh, let's go with one. I hope you guys are going to be with them. So if you guys want more, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you guys next one. Bye! I can't press the pause button right.